Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're here at Westport Road, corner of Murphy Lane, here at the corner of Pizza and Pub. Uh, I have a loose connection to this place, but in order to explain that, I'm gonna have to go on a history lesson, which if I'm gonna refer to the uh, Crystal's Country Diner video where I talked about the beginnings of my restaurant experience. And at that time, I told you I would finish the rest of the story. Well, being that I have connection here, this is as good a time as any to explain that connection. Uh, my pizza business uh, started back, the beginnings of it started in the spring of 89. I've been going to Churchill Downs that spring meet and ran into an unusual lucky streak. Won a bunch of money. And I was bartending at Cunningham's restaurant on Moser and Shelbyville Road at the time. And a friend of mine at the time, Mike Wycliffe, he told me, he says, you know, you got all this money. He said, why don't we open up a restaurant? And at the time I thought, well, I'm just going to become a professional gambler. It's so easy to win at Churchill. So I said, well, I might as well just go ahead and do something, you know, with my spare time. So Mike and I opened up a pizza place out in Simpsonville, Kentucky. It was called, uh, Good old pizza and sub. Then the next year we opened a second place over uh, Mr. G's Lounge over here in, in Pizza. Uh, it was over in Douglas Hills. Then two years later, Mike split off and opened Wicks Pizza, which everybody in Louisville's heard of Wicks Pizza. So the following year, being that I really didn't want to be in the restaurant business to begin with, I went in and sold my Simpsonville pizza location to my uncle Greg Goodall. Greg was out there for a couple years. Then he turned around and sold his pizza place to a couple guys that worked for me at Mr. G's, Joe Pendergast and Ted Waldire. So they went out to Simpsonville and opened up JT's Pizza, Joe and Ted. So they were out there for a few years. Ted split off from Joe and he came here to this location and opened what became the Pizza Box. Okay, he was here for a while, very thriving business. And then at some point, he sold his place to another guy that worked for me named Kerry Browning. Well, then it became uh, Kena's Corner Pizza. Same recipe that Mike and I had come up with back in 90. And the tradition was carrying on here. And then for whatever reason, I don't know, they ended up uh, selling him and his wife sold to the people that have the corner pizza and pub okay now let me roll back a little bit in 2002 i sold my interest in my pizza place at mr g's and i went back to college started working uh, for jcps full time and then fast forward to where we're at today but anyway i was just talking to a lady that works in there and she told me the menu and the food is pretty much the same as it was when it was uh the pizza box and kena's corner which I grandfathered the recipes to those places. So, we will see what we have here. We're gonna go in and check it out and see if the tr uh, tradition continues and also refer to Chef's Cut Pizza and you can get some of the Simpsonville Pizza uh, beginnings on that video with the guy that owns that, John Rayleigh, Chef's Cut. So he still carries on the same uh, recipes that we had back in the day too. So let's go in and check All it right. out. All uh, right, I'm gonna do a little pan around the place as you see here. I uh, got a nice bar there. This place really hadn't changed much since it was the pizza box. And you see here they got some games over here, some golf and adult games. And, and Joe and Ted and Carrie were big dart fanatics and they always had darts set up at their bar. So they still got the dart board just like they did back in the day. And of course we got Hopi back again for another review. And we got an appetizer with some cheese sticks, which those look exactly like the cheese sticks that I made back in the day and taught all of uh, the guys that worked for me that moved on same way. So, so far everything is looking the same. Let's see how they taste. I'm actually gonna taste one myself. You just ruined that cheese. Oh yeah, those are pretty daggone good. 
We'll be back with the rest right. in a minute. Next item just came out, and that's the pizza. It looks similar to the uh, old style that I used to make, but I can see that something's different with the crust. It looks like there might be cornmeal on there. Not sure, but the style's the same. Cheese on top. Got that nice uh, browning of the cheese there on top. The undercarriage looks good and done. And it's not too, not floppy, not too floppy at all. Mmm. Hot. All right. That's very good. The sausage tastes homemade. Got a nice zesty taste to it. The sauce, sweet and tangy. Uh, the cheese, uh, I believe, is 100% whole milk mozzarella. Very good. So, all right, I'm gonna finish up on some of this and then we'll be back in just a minute with some of the other all right. stuff. Before I finish on the pizza, I just wanna let you know, this crust, even though it's different from mine, it's, uh, it's real light and airy. You can see there, it's got the bubbles and it's actually thin. It's really thin and it holds up. And uh, like I said, this is really good pizza. Uh, you notice the pepperonis are cooked crisp on top. All right, enough of the pizza. I'll be back next with some sandwiches. Be right back. Before I move on to my sandwiches, Hopi and Mary got the meatball sub, which that looks like a pretty good sandwich there. Hopi, she's going to town on hers. What do you think? Really good. Really good? Okay. And Mary, what, have you had a bite of yours yet? No. Oh, yeah. She takes big bites like her daddy. Double bite. There you go. That's a good old trait. The old double bite like a snapping turtle. What do you think there, Mary? It's really good. Yep. Looks like a good looking sandwich there. That bun looks interesting too. Which I will get more onto the other sandwiches here in just a second. All right, so I'm gonna get in. I got a couple sandwiches that are old signature sandwiches on my old menu. Uh, we're gonna start off with the hot Sicilian. Which by the way, every person that ever worked for me uh, has the hot Sicilian on their menu. Wicks, JT's did, Pizza Box. The tradition continues here with the Corner Pizza Pub. Uh, even John Rayleigh over at uh, Chef's Cut Pizza, he's got the hot Sicilian, which I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The hot Sicilian actually originated TGI Fridays, same ingredients. All right, here we go. It's got Italian dressing on it, ham, pepperoni, bacon, lettuce, tomato, onion. Zesty Italian dressing. The bun's a little different than what mine used to be. Looks like it's got Italian seasoning on it and some sesame seed, a little different. Mmm. Oh yeah. The zestiness of that Italian dressing kind of brings it all together. Nice little snap to it. All right, be right back with the next item. Right, next item, you notice I got my sandwiches in the go box because I'm just going to try and then take some home, sample some here. But before I do, I always like to try the pickles too. Mmm. That's a good kosher dill there. All right. Next item was one of my old favorites was the stromboli, which is uh, sausage, beef, onion, and banana pepper. It's a little different than the Evansville Strom. Evansville Stromboli is just sausage, onion, pizza sauce, but this comes with beef, onion, and uh, banana pepper on it. A little different. Comes out a nice bun. I like their buns here. And I love banana peppers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And you know what? This comes with a chip and a pickle. I think it's only $6.95. This is a pretty heavy sandwich. So, made exactly like I used to make them and tastes pretty daggone good. 
Only difference is the seasoning on the bun. Everything else is the same. I'm liking this place. The, every item I eat, I'm liking it better and better. All right, be back in a minute, and I'm not sure if I have anything else, but be, be back in a minute after I finish this up. All right, so we're done eating the food, and let me just start by saying I had three sandwiches, uh, bread, cheesy breadsticks, 14-inch pizza, uh, drink, and it was all under $50. So the value for the food, great. The food was great. Uh, but let me just say, you know, if you look around, this is kind of an older shopping center. You know, uh, you can't judge a book by its cover. When you come here, you're going to think, oh, it's an old place. Well, I, the pizza place has actually been here for 25 years. So, anyway, you know I'm not going to fancy joints anyway. Another thing, this is actually right across the street from the Ford plant. This place gets big backing from the Ford workers. It's a blue-collar joint. And you know I love blue collar places. So with that said, get on out there and support local. And y'all don't know nothing about this corner pizza. But... Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.